So now I have the distribution function for y. Essentially, I can just decide to plug stuff in here already. So let's just see what happens uh, if I try to plug in whatever I have. Um, so let's see. First of all, I notice that when I add the density of x2 into this, integral, then the bounds change from 0 to infinity. Uh, they change from minus infinity to 0 down here. So I have that first and foremost. And the density of x2 is uh, theta multiplied by e to the minus theta x. And what is the distribution function of x1? Well, it is 1 minus uh, e to the minus x, but here we're evaluating it in x, y, so it's e to the minus x, y. Uh, and that is just a multiple that we have there. Okay, so this is what I have, and I can see that this uh, actually splits up into two, uh, into two things, right? Because on the one hand, I have 0 to infinity of theta e to the minus theta x dx, and then the other integral that splits up in two is e to the minus x y multiplied by e to the minus theta x, and we also have another theta in here, dx. Okay, so what do I have? Well, what I have here is, first of all, theta e to the minus theta x. That's itself a density. And evaluated on the integral from 0 to infinity, that is just equal to 1. Now, what's the other thing that I have? Well, here I have theta outside of the integral, and inside of the integral, I have e to the minus y that's a weird looking y, e to the minus y plus theta x. And I can see that this kind of reminds me of the density in a exponential distribution with parameter y plus theta. The only difference is that I need the parameter to be multiplied onto the density, right? Because if I have z exponentially distributed with parameter lambda, that means that the density of z is equal to the parameter multiplied by e to the minus the parameter z for z greater than zero. So what I have here now is that I've multiplied by y plus theta such that the density looks the way it should look. And the way I compensate for that outside of the integral is then I just multiply with the inverse. So I divide by y plus theta outside of the integral. And that then is equal to, well, the integral here is just equal to, uh, is just equal to 1, right? So this is now equal to 1 minus theta over y plus theta. And this entire thing just evaluates to 1 because it's the integral of a density. And what we notice here is actually that this is the distribution function of a distribution that we know pretty well, it is the distribution function in the Pareto distribution with parameters 1 and theta. Uh, we normally recognize the survival function, which is this part, and that is how it looks in the Pareto distribution. So this exercise while it is also an exercise in calculating stuff, it's also a good exercise to use to try to understand how uh, convolutions actually work. Because what we do essentially is we work through the proof for showing uh, 
the distribution of the sum of two independent stochastic variables, except in this exercise, we show the distribution of the ratio of two independent stochastic variables instead.